Good evening, locksmith. So you, you, if I understand correctly, you have a, an automobile that has a, keys locked in it. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah, we can come out and do that for you. Uh, whereabouts is it located? Um, it's three eight four eight Third Avenue North, and that's Kaiser. You said what avenue? Sorry. Third uh, Avenue. Okay. Kaiser, and then that's nine seven three zero three. It doesn't look like it's too far from your shop. Gotcha. How much is it going to be? Do you know approximately? Uh, what kind of car is it? Um, it is a. Goodbye. Is it a pickup? Um, hold on one second. Let me pull up what make, model, and all that stuff. Okay. Is this the best phone number for us to reach you back at? Uh, yeah, you can call me. Yeah, so it sounds like you have that number already. Yeah. What was that, TJ? Twenty twelve Ford F one fifty. Okay, so as far as cost goes on that uh, vehicle, uh, with the service fee and the cost of the unlock, you're probably going to be looking at 145 Okay, yeah, if you can do that, how fast would you be able to run over there? Uh, usually I can have somebody there within about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, sweet, yeah, that sounds great. Okay, and we'll give you a call if we have any issues finding the truck, or once we get arrive at that address at 3848 3rd Avenue. Yeah, call me if there's anything more than 145 and then I have, I have a credit card we can use if, once you get there. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good, thanks. I'll let them know you're on your way. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Bye. Jeez, a fucking wheeze, dude. Well, uh, I was playing. I was playing online, and I just had a horrible couple sessions. I lost about eight, nine, ten, eleven, about five hundred bucks in a matter of fifteen, twenty minutes. Thankfully, I just got a call. I'm really happy about that. Um, so I'm gonna head out to that call. You just heard me discuss with this guy the cost for the unlock, and. We're going to head out and see what we can do to help him out and get his keys out of his work van or work truck, I should say. So stay tuned and we'll be headed to the job soon. All right, everyone. How's everybody doing today? Like I can hear you, right? <laughs> this is Brandon Winger with B-Dubs answering the call. So I'm bringing with me today to this F-150, like a little piano stand. Uh, looks kind of dumb and stupid, but truth be told is it comes in real handy when it comes to having to get a little extra height on an automobile and these trucks can sometimes be kind of tall, especially these work, these work trucks. So, uh, and it's certainly uh, easier to handle and carry with me in a car than a step, a full step ladder or it's also cleaner too. With it being a business vehicle and the necessity, it looks like I'm about 10 minutes out. With the necessity here of them needing a locksmith to get out there quickly, we do charge a little more than a residential. You know, it's a business. They have a little bit more money and they're willing to spend it because they know that we're gonna be able to help them out and get them in in a very quickly, a very quick, and timely manner and so they appreciate us for what we do and they reward us a little bit more than so many are just a non-business person who locked themselves out they got work to do and time is money for them so if you were wondering why it is that that job specifically is was quoted out just a little bit more than uh, what yesterday's job was, which even was a further distance, the next left onto Clear Lake that is why. Then turn so, right onto River Road apparently I have a problem with getting my seatbelt on when 
I'm traveling. So, this job, like I said, is only about 10 minutes away. But a lot of the people, what will happen is they will get comfortable and say, oh, it's only 10 minutes away, and they'll start doing some things and get get to a point where they look at the clock and, oh, no, it's actually been about five, six minutes, and now it's going to take you another 10 minutes to get to the call. So rather than getting things you need to get done taken care of, always try to do your best to get to the customer as soon as possible. There's a couple reasons. For one, they appreciate your speed and they recognize that your effort of getting there quickly results in a higher cost. Second, you could get there if you take your lovely time and find that another locksmith beat you to the job. And if you're a locksmith already, you know what I'm talking about. That sucks. Uh, I don't like being that person. It's, it's rare that that ever happens to me. Well, that's because I'm punctual and I'm quick. Hence the name of my business, which is Mr. Quick Pick. So, if you guys didn't know that by now, that's the name of my business. Uh, it is a licensing agreement to use the name that I purchase monthly, or I pay for monthly, to use the name because it's recognizable and rememberable. Memorable, I should say. Both, I guess, work. So, when I first got started, I was looking up for, looking up roadside service provider names, locksmith names, trying to consider what I should call myself, or call a business, I should say, that I'm starting. I came across a guy by the name of John Taylor. He's the one that created the brand, Mr. Quick Pick. I had some questions and I reached out to him and I talked to him for quite some time. Really nice guy. He's a, he's a Navy veteran, I believe, but he's a veteran himself. And so I connected with him right away because you know, we have the military in common and us military guys, we tend to stick together. I asked him some questions about what the licensing agreement specifically entails and what it covers, and I'll probably make a video on that more specifically in case you are interested in joining the Mr. Quick Pick network of licensees. I also seen it for as an, as an opportunity for myself that down the road, if I were to ever sell my business, or if some big investor decided to come in and purchase the licensing of Mr. Quick Pick and want to take control of all the territories that are currently licensed to all the individual uh, entrepreneurs that chose to purchase the monthly licensing agreement to use that name, that there's a chance that there could be a pretty big payoff for me selling that name at some point or the rights to use that name in this territory. So, I know I say so and um a lot, and I'm sorry guys, I'm still new to this. I'm trying my best. I will try to get better at speaking. I, I actually truly believe that by using YouTube as a platform or another video platform, that it will help me in progressing my communication skills so I'm not constantly saying um and so, which are unnecessary words. I did say I was gonna cut this video, but hopefully you guys learned something from me keeping you on here a little bit longer. It's just thoughts like came into my mind. And so, uh, you know, every little tidbit helps. It'll help you in your endeavors as entrepreneurs or business owners. Maybe you're not even a locksmith and you just are a service provider who wants to be able to provide better customer service. So. Hopefully all this starts to add up as you watch more and more of my videos. I will try to keep them short and quick and to the point for the most part, but you know, hopefully you guys are liking my channel and if you do, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe. All right, everyone. We were only about four minutes away from the job when I cut out last and now we're about one minute away. So I figured I'd give you guys a little bit more time to see as I'm pulling up to the job, what it's like. It's usually pretty quiet. 
because I'm not usually Take recording. Next right onto Third so, Avenue North, then your destination will be on the right. I'm going to Take a right here. Probably the truck right there. Your destination is on the right. Yeah, sure it is. Alright. Alright, time to have fun with these guys. Hey, how's it going? Well, it could be better. Yeah, I know, huh? Same day. It's what? And you're gonna save the day now. Uh, yes, I am. I'm Brandon, by the way. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Will. 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 Nice Will. to meet you. I'm recording Will. just for YouTube purposes and to be able to help train other people down the road. Are you okay with that and being on YouTube? Okay. Okay. Great okay, chef. Put my glasses on. You can if you'd like. You don't have to. So, we'll take a look and see what options we got. It looks the like you got the it. the keys are in the ignition. Yeah. All right. Looks like we got the uh, button we can possibly press and go to the for the keys if it's a last resort and looks like those are the best options does the lock button work you know uh, the it, button it apparently worked when i sat down in the door jam today ate lunch i put my arm up on the thing uh -huh. and apparently it locked you can't hear the locks work oh, okay so i closed the door and went back to work <clears throat> yeah i don't know what this option looks like to me but does that window on both from the outside this one yeah uh, I don't, I don't believe so, but I can get you in without doing and all that. I, I should be able to get that going for you. Would you mind uh, working for me while I work for you? Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. I'll be right back. Right. Oh, actually, let me go ahead and get this before I. Hey. How the heck you do those kind of things? What? <laughs> he doesn't want to be on video. Huh? What did you say right now? <laughs> Who is driving this truck? <laughs> Oh. Leave the keys inside. <laughs> so, um, let me make sure. How did we find you? Uh, I think one of your, the people that work for your company called. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how he found me, but. Alright, let me push you on pause. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I, I like my videos raw. So uh. if I'm not doing anything, that's, but Fitzpatrick Paint. And like what, this you, truck, see? Yeah, do you want me to put uh, any other name on it or just Fitzpatrick Paint? Just Fitzpatrick. Okay. And then a good email address if you're going to want a receipt sent to you. Do you know a good one? That one? It's I probably the one on the truck. Email? Yeah, Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick probably. Yeah, yeah it's right is there. That, that that, that there's email? the email, see it? Okay, that's an email? Oh, yeah. It says so.com. Uh, I figure that might be a website, but... That's, that's an email, same thing, right? No. Websites are different? Uh, yeah, fit, yeah. The, e the, the web address would might be the .com, and then it might be like somebody's name at fitzpatrick.com, but mm -hmm. I can give the guy a call. So you get your service call fee, an emergency auto unlock, the total is 145 You just want to sign here for me? I guess I'll do it. That's what we quoted him and told him on the phones. I'm not quoting you. I'm not charging any more than I, I told you guys. And I'll go ahead and grab my tool and get can. I fuck. Bro. How can you be so stupid? So sometimes it's just not yeah. enough. I think we have insurance for this. Asshole. What'd you say? I'll camera you up right now. Oh, I like how you opened the door up. That's nice. How what? I like that. What's that? The pad right there for pulling it apart. Oh, yeah. yeah the it doesn't damage nothing that way, huh? No. That's nice. No, and you can get into like 90, 99% of vehicles. This way or automobiles this way. Mm -hmm. Got into Corvettes and, I mean, like new, new Corvettes. That's what I Well, you just wait for one of these to happen, don't you? Why is that? Come on, 150 bucks right now. You got this. It seems and, like and, a you lot, get, but... and you got the cool tools. Yeah. And you get to roll up bump in your stereo. <laughs> <laughs> you it seems like a great job, but this, honestly, as a locking with you, you 
don't get calls constantly, right? Yeah. People lock themselves up. So, it equates. Well, it's definitely my fault there. today. Here we go. All right, let's go, Will. What did he use? Yeah, he just slim jimmed this in there. Long reach tool, but yeah. yeah. So. Thank God. Here you go. Uh, and am I then. taking payment from you guys? I think you got to do the bill. Call him. Okay. Yeah, we're just regular guys. Sure. Yes, hi Ross, this is Brandon, the locksmith that just came out. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, good, yourself? Good, good, what's up? I just wanted to confirm you're going to be making the payment, is that correct? Yeah, for whatever, yeah. All right, everyone, so I just got done with that job, and it was pretty easy to get in. Uh, the people that were being, that I was assisting were really cool, helpful, and I went ahead and called the guy who originally called us, and... Took payment over the phone, so we are going to be put. We're putting our tools up right now. Let's see if I can. I don't always carry that thing with me, but if I know I'm going to be going to a job that has a potential truck like that, it comes in handy. Back in the car and headed out from this job. That took probably all about, I don't know, 30 minutes between the time I got a call and got out here and I'm done. So, hopefully, you guys liked seeing me get into the late model Ford F 150. If you guys did and you want to see more videos or continue to be notified when another video is made don't forget to like and subscribe have a great day everyone